Hello and welcome to Khalsa Design. Today we are doing in two dimension resolve to create this sleek minimal line animation. Let's get started. Open DaVinci Resolve and create new fusion composition. Set the frame rate to 30 fps and drag the fusion composition onto your timeline. Now let's jump into the fusion page. Bring in a background node. In the image tab, set the height to 7560. Next, add a polygon node and connect it to the background. Right click on the shape animation to remove the shape animation. On the viewer, carefully add 9 point to create path of our line. Once you have created the 9 points, select all the points and click publish. You can see the publish points showing in this vector. You will now see these points listed as control. Adjust the X and Y values of each point according to the on screen display. Select point 1 and activate the smooth option, adjust the handle to create a nice flowing curve as shown. Do this for all the points. Now for the animation, go to frame number 15, add a keyframe for the position, set the position value to 1. Move to frame 60, set the position to 0 0.848 and the length value to 0 0.1. At frame 75, add another keyframe for position and set the length to 0. Go to frame number 90. Set the position to 0.737 and the length to 0 0.07. On frame 95, add a position keyframe and set the length to 0. Move to frame number 125 and set the length to 0.18. At frame 145, set the position to 0.4365. Go to frame number 160. Add keyframes for both position and set the length to 0. At frame 175, set the position to 0 0.326 and the length to 0 0.07. On frame 180, add a position keyframe and set the length to 0. Move to frame number 205 and set the length to 0 0.18. Finally, at frame 225, Set the length to 0 and position to 0. Let's take a quick look at what we have so far. Let's create a tapered look. Copy and paste the first polygon node and connect it after the original. Rename this new polygon node to trial PG. Set its border width to 0 0.003. Open the keyframe window and nudge all the keyframes of this trial PG forward by one frame to create a slight delay. Next, we will add a circle that follows the line. Copy and paste the original polygon node one more time. Also, copy the initial background node and paste an instance copy of it. Right click on the type and de instance it. Then, right click on the red color and de instance the color group, setting the color to white. Now select the newest polygon node and double click on the length parameter to remove its animation. 
set its border weight to 0.025, add the merge node and connect both background to it. Click this polygon and set at lens value to 0. You should now see a circle. Let's add a colorful background. Set the main background node, the first one we created, and change its type to gradient. Set the start x value to 0.5, start y value to 0, and x value to 0.5, and end y value to 1. Add two more points to the gradient at position 0.66 and 0.33. Now select each point and change its color, point 1 to blue, point 2 to pink, point 3 to yellow, and point 4 to green. Let's animate the view. Add another merge, create a new background node and connect it to new merge background input. Make it transparent by setting its alpha to 0. Go to frame number 15, select this new merge node, set the center y value to 3.5, adding a keyframe. At frame 60, set the center y value to 2.1. At frame 75, set the center y value to 2. At frame 95, add a keyframe for center y. At frame 145, set the center y value to 0.17. Frame 160, set the center y value to 0.07. At frame 180, add a center y keyframe. Finally, at frame 225, set the center y value to negative 2.5. Open spline window and smooth out these keyframes for a fluid motion. Let's keep things organized. Select the polygon node creating the circle and rename it to circle shape. Now let's animate the circle appearance. Select the circle shape node, go to frame 0, move one frame forward and add another level keyframe. Go back to the very first frame and set the level value to 0. Add a keyframe for border width. Go to frame 15 and add another border width keyframe. Go back to frame 0 and set the border width to 0. Finally on circle shape node, go to frame 225, add a keyframe for level. Move one frame forward and set the level value to 0. Select the first polygon node. Go to frame number 16 and add a keyframe from level. Go back one frame and set the level value to 0. At frame 225, add another level keyframe. Move one frame forward and set the level to 0. Now for taper lines. Time to add some text. Drag and drop a text plus node into the fusion flow and connect its output to the last merge node. This will create a new merge node. Select the text plus node, type your desired text. I'd use minimal. Change the font to poppins. Type to regular and set the size to 0.05. In the layout tab, set the center y value to negative 1.006. Select the merge node connected to this text and press command plus T on Mac or control plus T on Windows. Let's animate this text. Select the text plus node, right click on the text box and choose follower. In the modifier step under transform, go to frame number 75 and add a keyframe or offset. Set the offset x value to 0 0.1. At frame 85, set the offset x value to 0. Now go to shading tab. At frame 85, add a keyframe for opacity. Go back to frame 80 and set the opacity to 0. Scroll up in the shading tab to find the softness. At frame 75, set both X softness and Y softness to their maximum values and add a keyframe. Then at frame 85, set both X softness and Y softness back to 0. Finally, in the timing tab, set the delay value to 1. Let's add another text element. Add another mud node. Copy and paste the first text plus node and connect it to the new merge. Again, make sure you swap. Again, make sure to swap the foreground and background inputs of the merge. Select the copy text plus node and change the text. Go to layout tab and change the center y value to 0.99.
open keyframes window, select all the keyframes for this second text element and move them to start at frame 160. Let's add one more text element. Add another merge node, copy and paste one of the existing text plus node, select the text plus node. And change the text. In the layout tab, change the center y value to 3.5. Go to text tab and right click on the text box, then select remove follower. To enhance the visual appeal, let's add a soft glow. Add a soft glow node after the merge and inspector set the gain value to 1. Finally, let's add background overlay. Add another merge node and connect a background node to its background input. Make sure to swap the foreground and background input for this merge. Select background node and change its type to 4 corner. Adjust the color of 4 corner as shown on the screen to create a gradient effect. And there you have it, a smooth and minimal line animation created in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take one final look. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to Khalsa Design for more DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks. Your support means a lot. If you would like to further support my work, you can purchase this project file. The download link will be provided in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.